purpose of this video is to demonstrate how um, I have a spinet to make my mugs here and I uh, had a lot of problems with the spinet either coming undone and the mug falls off and creates these problems here after you've put all the work into um, you know the cost of the epoxy and the time it takes to do this the mug will fall off and then you've got a lot of repair to do to the mug it either falls off or comes undone and wiggles so my husband has devised a fix to that plan So this is my wife's spinet, which she tells me is not the top end of uh, spinning devices. So I'm trying to help her get this set up so her mugs don't fall off and get caught, as you can see they did down here. So taking the uh, spindle, I guess you call it off, and just like we showed about the foam package. I just cut off a piece of that foam. So we can just actually put the foam right into the cup or the mug or whatever you may have. This one need to overlap just a little bit so it fits down in there. And loosen this up as much as we can. Stretch it out. And then we can just push it down in there. Try to make sure that the foam doesn't go push in there. I want the foam to overlap the spindle things. I'm gonna try to get it pretty well centered in the mug and straight. See it's slightly off there, but you want it to also stick out enough that you can uh, set it back on the spinet device. And now we're just gonna crank it down tight. Crank it down tight, it's pushing into that foam. Now you can see, shake the crap out of it, and it's still holding tight. So now you can put it back on the spinet. And my wife told me before that it has actually come out, come unscrewed. So I added this nut here uses a jam nut, crank it down tight, and I don't know if the jam nut's necessary. I think what happens is the mug falls off and then it unscrews. And I'll just give the jam nut, jam nut here just a little tug. And that's it. did this with uh, this long mug but I'm thinking this will probably work with uh, other mugs Just squeeze them down put them in there tighten the nut down a little bit but uh, this didn't go anywhere when she did this one so this has the same thing as the other one did just this jam nut here, screw it into the spinner and tighten this jam nut. So I'm gonna take it out, kind of just the opposite, squeeze it and kind of roll it around. Can't just yank it out or you'll uh, rip the foam ball. That one out. We'll bring the other one up. And do the same thing when you get the other one up. Just kind of squeeze around as it's coming out. I'm right handed, but I'm having some right hand issues at this time, or it might go a little better. There we go.